Hello and uh, welcome to, I guess we'll, we'll call it Trader Talk. I am honored to have our guest here this afternoon or whenever you're going to be watching this. Welcome, Deanna. How are you? I'm very well, John. Thank you for having me today. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, just to kind of talk about Deanna for a second. We first met in, uh, I think, 2017. I was doing a market profile strategy lab and uh, Deanna was a part of a participant in the strategy lab. She was a participant in Top Step Trader Program and extremely inquisitive of the market profile. We had a lot of unbelievably excellent, good conversations. And I learned a lot about Deanna. The more I learned, the more impressed I became. Deanna is a multi-instrumental -instrum musician, a professional. Uh, she is... She's actually shared the stage with some pretty famous names. I'm not going to drop any names right now, uh, but she is a fitness guru, a bodybuilder, a trader, and a trader educator. the The amount that Deanna has accomplished in in her um, short twenty one years is amazing. Uh, she, she was <laughs> twenty one years. Okay, yes, I need to buy a drink for that. <laughs> <laughs> She's accomplished so much and she's accomplished so much since we first met. And I'm very happy again to have you here, Deanna. So tell us first about when you got the, the, the trading bug and, and what took you to, what brought you to Top Step? Wow. Okay. Trading bug. I mean, it was a number of years before I actually found Top Step. Um, I remember I was still an active musician. So I think it was about 2007 or 2008. So, you know, it was quite a while ago. And I remember exactly how I actually got into trading. Uh, bizarrely, I was in Florida. I live in London, but I went to Florida and I was songwriting with a guy who um, did some production, well, I did quite a lot of production from, for Rihanna, Lauren Hill, like, you know, some quite big names. So he was doing trading on the side. Uh, he was trading vanilla options. And, you know, later on, I realized that's not really for me, but we got talking about trading. He showed me some candlestick charts, which I've never seen before. And to me, they look kind of like music sheet. So naturally, you know, I got interested in it because it looked like it was very pattern based. And then, you know, I started learning and, you know, after a typical sort of like noob car crash one year of trying to do moving averages and, and whatnot, um, I very quickly realized that kind of simple trading strategies, they're not really going to work. And I kept looking and searching and that kind of brought me to institutional supply and demand concept, which is kind of like order flow and very large time frames. And I actually did very well with that. So I, I managed to make like my first six figures just using supply and demand swing trading. And uh, from 2008 uh, all the way to about, I think it was about 2012, uh, I was smashing it, right? I was like doing really well. There was a lot of momentum in the markets. Uh, but I think one thing that really worked for me is that I only traded one thing. I only knew about Euro dollar. I was a Forex trader back then. I didn't know anything about futures or CL or ES, nothing, right? I was just like, Euro dollar, Euro dollar. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a different style of trading. So I, I held my positions anywhere from about a few days up to about two months. So more kind of medium term trading. And then um, the market conditions changed. And uh, now I know why, but back then I was a bit baffled why my swing strategies were not working anymore. So I knew that my skills actually had to grow, but at the same time, I was a little bit afraid of intraday trading because I knew I didn't know much about it. And, uh, and again, I tried it. I tried using smaller time frames, bumbled around for about a year with no real progress. And uh, you know, eventually I realized I needed help. I could do better. I knew that I was a good trader already, but I knew that I still had like, you know, a few blind spots when it, when it came to profile trading and intraday. And that's how I found Top Step. Well, we're glad you found us. So now we're at Top Step. Tell us about your experience. Yeah. How long were okay. you with us? What did you learn? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't quite remember exactly how long I spent in the combines because it was a while back. Uh, but when I first found you, because of all the performance metrics, I actually found it a little bit daunting because the other guys had performance metrics, but they were like very basic. And initially, I was kind of just using it to practice some new ideas that I had. 
uh, to me it was um, it was a great I mean the only probably the only way to practice under pressure <laughs> because you have to pay that fee it really does make you care more so instead of but at the same time it saves you money right because instead of me having to plow in like 20 grand to test the theory I can just you know pay like 300 400 bucks a, a month and test it out right you so still have that feeling of the skin yeah absolutely yeah that was probably the biggest uh, biggest selling points that you guys had for me. And then once I got funded, I saw that uh, you were doing these coaching sessions. Mm -hmm. And uh, by then, I did have a decent idea of market profile, but I was a little bit not sure what I was doing with a TPO profile. So using those coaching sessions um, to really open my eyes to the practical application, I mean, to be able to pick your brain like that, that was just invaluable to me. Since leaving Top Step, tell us about what you've accomplished. So I knew that my own trading style always drew, drew interest wherever I was. So, you know, in every company, even when I was trading in the offices, I had people around me constantly asking me questions because I was always in profit. So they were like, how are you doing that? Or, you know, if I had a massive drawn on the previous day, the next day I'm like back to zero and then in some profit. And they're like, how? <laughs> how? Yeah. It does. And to maximize my time, because people kept asking me the same questions over and over, I made a YouTube video back in 2015. Now, I expected it to be watched by like five people. I uploaded it a week later. I didn't even check it. A week later, it got like 30,000 views in one week. And because of that video, I already wrote a book on swing trading. Um, and then once I had some time on my hands, um, I started working on the course, on the video course. How long did that take? Uh, the course actually took me 18 months to create. Long time. I mean, yeah. it, there's a lot of stuff in there. A lot and, of work. Uh, yeah, a lot of work. Videoing was life. I would get up, you know, get ready and start, start doing it. And then I was editing the videos. I wasn't particularly efficient at editing videos back then. So, you know, there's a huge, huge learning curve that, that went with it. And I still, every so often, I update the program to keep it fresh. Um, because obviously, after, you know, a few years, now I have loads of people on there who have asked me some questions. So, uh, I, I'm actually just coming to the end of the final third revision. Uh, just to make sure that uh, the questions that have been asked so many times are now in the course. So when you're watching it, you know what other people's, people have struggled with. So when you kind of come across that, and if they ask me a question, I just go, watch this video. <laughs> so it kind of saves me time, obviously. Sure. But yeah, so um, uh, when it comes to other things that I've, uh, I've done, um, around about the same time when I started doing the video course, I, you know, I wanted to have a more efficient way of doing my analysis. Uh, and I commissioned a software architect that I personally knew. And, you know, we came to an agreement that he was going to collaborate with me to create all of these indicators that I needed. And he had his own company, Blartic, right? That was the contracting company that he, he used. And uh, he worked really quite diligently on the indicators, the indicators for me. You know, I didn't want to put it out there. But then James had other ideas. He was like, you know what? I think we should make a business out of it. And I'm like, really? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> and then he said, you know, you're a musician. Why don't you do some like marketing videos? And I was like, oh no, really? You want me to talk into a camera again? And I was still scarred from my like YouTube, um, <laughs> little YouTube video that went semi-viral. So, you know, he, he did push me out of my comfort zone quite a lot. So um, because of that, I think YouTube uh, channel, Marcus Talkers, it actually started to grow. So now we're kind of almost to about 3K uh, subscribers, which is, you know, pretty good, considering we're a very, very niche market, mm -hmm. order flow traders, training for prop traders. You know, I'm not looking at cryptos. I don't really care about that much. So uh, there's definitely a community that, uh, that appreciates the niche content, but I also tackle some, you know, other issues. For example, you have some, some things like how to handle the full-time job and learning to trade. Is it possible? Um, you know, moving your stop losses. Do you do that? Do you not do that? Like a whole bunch of other things that a trader might 
uh, have a problem with, I try to tackle that as well. And that's market stalkers? Yes, that's market stalkers, yeah. Blatech is the tech company. Blatech is a tech company. They technically own us, but they are, they are the indicators. So you have Blatech indicators and you have market stalkers, the educational platform, YouTube channel, et cetera. How do you, uh, how important is it? Uh, and, you know, what does actually helping and coaching traders mean to you? Right. Okay. Um, well, like I said, when I was younger, I was uh, a music teacher at one point. And I always enjoyed seeing people learning and growing. And I also knew that by other people asking you questions, you solidify your own skills. I was already pretty good at breaking things down into smaller chunks and, you know, working kind of methodically to raise your skill level. Uh, but I think the main thing for me is that it, it's a little bit selfish, I admit, because I learned so much about myself, really when people ask me questions and then I'm like, actually that's, you know, hmm, never thought about that. I mean, I had the same experience when I was working with James Cater as well with, on the indicators. He asked me some questions that I never thought about. So, you know, something that's very simple, it, it turns out to be horribly complex mm -hmm. in, in the execution. And you realize that when you're teaching others. So at this point, uh, my approach to coaching is actually to first minimize the biggest problem uh, that they have and that's always different for every single person and that's also why i'm very picky with you know, who i take on because i want to be sure that i can help them i'm you know teaching for me coaching it's not really for for me to kind of go oh yeah it's some kind of a huge business model because the uh, the largest chunk of my income is my own trading however just knowing that I'm doing something else <laughs> rather than just kind of mindlessly, you know, doing my own trading, mm -hmm. it means that I'm serving a greater purpose. And if I can help people reach the dream that they had, it, it's amazing. It's, it's the one is the most wonderful feeling ever. You won't find that anywhere else. I'm, I'm sure you know that as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I feel blessed to just have the opportunity to, to work with as many people as I have. And I know you feel mm -hmm. the same way. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I'm with you. I, we learn more from the people we work with than we probably yes. teach them. Absolutely. I'm a huge, uh, a huge fan of uh, servant leadership. So rather than, and it's how I've modeled my portal, my coaching portal. So rather than me going in like, I know everything, I am the Oracle. I basically go, you know what? All these people have had years of, of development and learning by themselves. So I'm always open to learning new stuff mm -hmm. and seeing how other people are doing it differently. And then, you know, if I see something that they are, you know, using that I feel is systematic, I just go, right, you know what, I'm going to explore that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I basically test it out and I include it in my own trading. So it's, it's almost like a two way street. It doesn't yeah. happen that often. I'll, I'll be completely honest, but there are times when, you know, I kind of wonder, I'm like, you know what, that's an excellent way of doing that. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, we've been at this for a while. It's been really nice to, to have you in, in, uh, in the interview and to, to reconnect with you. I'm looking forward yep. to keeping in touch for sure. Uh, any, anything else you want to tell us about you and about your, about market stalkers? About me? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, what else can you know about me? I love dogs. I'm very driven. Maybe on, on the spectrum <laughs> a little bit sometimes. <laughs> Um, I'm very good at quite a few things apart from chemistry and painting. <laughs> but yeah, no, just joking, obviously. Uh, Marcus Talkers, uh, you can check out the YouTube channel. I think it's quite, uh, quite useful. I also run, um, we've got like a little membership there as well. So whoever wants to know stuff about order flow, feel free to join our Thursday live coaching sessions. That might be quite useful for some people. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, really. <laughs> well, awesome, Deanna. Honored to have you with me today. I know this is going to be a very popular interview and, <laughs> and uh, keep in touch. Yeah, definitely. John, thank you so much for having me and very nice to catch up with you after all this time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was like, I wonder how she's doing. And I, <laughs> you know, I uh, reached out and uh, I'm glad I did. You're, yeah, you're really, I'm glad you did as well. <laughs> you've really done some amazing things. I'm really proud oh, thank of you. you. And, thank uh, you. You're definitely a part of that. Well, if I was then then wonderful that makes me happy so keep the uh 
keep the the uh, numbers green on your platform and we'll yes. talk again soon. Yes, no problem. Thanks, John.